I feel ready to like, ooh, air it out. <laughs> All right. Jolie, I am ready when you are. All right, so this is my first love story turning into my self-love discovery. Um, I definitely want to talk about me coming back into this room and how when I first walked in here, I had my head up my ass, per usual. I've been stuck in this mind state of not being vulnerable, not even with other people, but with myself. And um, it took my first relationship for me to understand that being vulnerable and open in a space is how you become truer to yourself. I spent five years pouring myself into somebody that if I spent half of that energy going into my passions, my hobbies, and my interests, I would be in a world of a difference of my lifestyle right now. Um, I do believe that for some people it takes being vulnerable and fucking up. I feel like I put on this mask. Like, I grew up in California, I grew up in Orange County. Like, if you know the girls from where I'm from, I'm nothing like them. I grew up really heavy. I was definitely a fat girl. I did not know what self-care meant. I didn't know what self-love meant in any kind of terms or what it meant, meant to me. And I moved to New York City, ignoring all of these like traumas in my past, thinking if I go to a different location and I rebuild myself, none of these things will matter anymore. And um, it took being in a loving situation and having to face that mirror of someone else and myself that I realized I had been ignoring and hiding behind a facade, trying to reach these gra or trying to reach these concepts of what it means to be a human and what it means to be a woman and what it means to just walk this earth. I put on so many different concepts that I have to be in a career that is respectable, not so much that I enjoy or gives me passion. I felt like I had to be in a relationship with somebody even if he didn't love me, and he clearly showed me that he was not interested, but it didn't stop me from trying to pursue and make a round peg fit in a square hole. That's honestly what it felt like for the last five years for me. I was ignoring the truest, most raw, authentic version of myself because I was scared to be someone that I haven't seen before, to live a life that I didn't think I was worthy of. I spent more time thinking it was valuable to hurt myself and not embrace what it means to love myself instead. Um, it's been a really hard process and I am so glad I came back into this room to tell my story because yesterday when I came in here, I got stuck in the nuances, trying to nitpick and be as subjective about my experiences and removing myself from being the center of my life. Again, I'm here because I want to be true. I want to start being more vulnerable and sometimes it means taking off the mask and not being just this character. I have real authentic feelings and concerns and desires, things that I don't always understand, but it's worth following. I have a burning passion in my stomach, a sensation that when I feel something's right, like I just go for it. And love showed me that trusting that instinct is everything. No matter if you don't feel like it's worthy for you, you trust that no matter what. Um, I would not be here without my first love. I would not be here without him, even with all the scars that I bear and the scars that I put onto myself. The self-harm that I've caused myself. I'm sorry if I'm messing with the mic, but I realized that I, when I first came into this room, I didn't show the true version of me, which is the girl that has hurt so many ways, myself and other people included in this journey. I've hurt friends that I literally sit in my room all night thinking about, I fucked that up, or opportunities that I walked away from because I didn't think I was worthy of it. Even when I walked in here the first time, I was so scared of trying to be these people I saw on the YouTube channel. I was scared to curse. I was scared to be my true self because the judgment that comes with it. And when you grow up being judged your, your whole life, it becomes something that being true and authentic is scary. It doesn't feel like it's real or possible anymore. And uh, me coming back in here was reclaiming that and pushing back and saying what I matter and what I feel matters and what I want to say matters. Even if it touches nobody, it touched me. I spent my whole morning crying on the train. I missed my stop and thankfully some other guy was definitely helping me figure out how I was gonna get here on time. And before I came in here, I sat in Times Square by myself and I had the most authentic cry because I'm here fighting for what? <laughs> I'm fighting. I'm not giving up. I'm not playing small. 
I'm doing whatever it takes to be me and to love me, even if it's scary, even if it makes no sense. Like when I told you I was gonna come back, even if you didn't call me, everybody, my friends were like, what? No, you're crazy. Like, don't go back. You probably did great. And I said, you don't understand this feeling. And that feeling is the reason why I reached out in the first place again. And it is the reason why I'll keep trying again and again and again, because love showed me that it's worth fighting for, it's worth being crazy for, it's worth looking stupid for, and it's worth finding yourself in, because you matter, I matter. What we want to do matters, even if it's unseen. Even like a, a tree in an empty forest, does it still make a sound? Yes, the fuck it does. We make our noise, we make our sound, we make our flavors, unique or not, you be you. And that's all I really care to say, because losing this opportunity to share with people that it's okay to be you, and it's okay to be a fuck up, it's okay to make mistakes, we're not our worst mistake. If anything, we're our best loves, we're our truest version of ourselves, even if you don't feel it. And I inspire and be inspired to keep pursuing that in any way, no matter what anyone says around you, even if you make no sense. Your connection to yourself is the only divination you'll feel on this earth. And that's all I came to say. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> Thank you so much.